This video explains how bacterial and yeast samples are prepared from maldi toff mass spectrometry with the Vitec MS system using the Vitec PickMe pen and nibs. At the end of this video, you should be able to list the Vitec MS reagents and disposables needed for preparation of bacterial and yeast isolates, correctly perform sample preparation for bacterial and yeast isolates using the Vitec PickMe pen and nibs. Note, this is an alternate option besides using loops for making spots. Validation may be required based on your facility's policies. Step 1. Assemble all materials. Vitec MSDS target slides. Target slides are stored inside the plastic cartridge at 15 to 25 degrees Celsius until the expiration date. Each slide contains 48 sample spots divided into three sections of 16 spots each. Each section is called an acquisition group. Each acquisition group has a small spot in the center of the group to be used for calibration. Vitec MSCHCA matrix. Each box contains five 0.5 milliliter yellow capped vials of matrix. Store the matrix at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius protected from light. Matrix vials are good for one week after opened. Vitec MSFA formic acid. Each box contains five 0.5 milliliter red capped vials of formic acid. Store the formic acid at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. Vitec MSFA vials are good for two weeks after opened. Vitec Pick Me Pin and Nibs. One case of nibs has 18 trays with 96 nibs per tray. Precision pipetters to deliver 0.5 and 1 microliter. Sterile colorless pipette tips without filter. Microtube rack. Powder free gloves. A good light source or magnifier is not required but is helpful when preparing spots. E. coli ATCC8739. Reconstitute a purchased stock strain according to the manufacturer's directions. As an example, the microbiologics package insert details a microorganism maintenance plan. A stock culture plate is inoculated from the reference stock using tryptocase soy auger with 5% sheep blood or Columbia auger with 5% sheep blood media. This stock plate is incubated for 24 hours at 35 degrees Celsius plus or minus 2 degrees Celsius and will be used for subculture for four weeks, after which time it will be discarded and a new stock plate made from another reference stock culture. After incubation, the stock plate is stored at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius and is used to sub a weekly working culture plate to the same media, tryptocase soy auger with 5% sheep blood or Columbia auger with 5% sheep blood. This working plate is incubated for 18 to 24 hours at 35 plus or minus 2 degrees Celsius, after which it is stored at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. The working plate serves two purposes. Number one. It is used to make the calibrator spot for the first day post-incubation, and two, it is used to subculture new calibrator plates for days two through seven. The fresh 18 to 24 hour subculture of the calibration strain taken from the working plate and grown at 35 plus or minus two degrees Celsius on tryptocase soy auger with 5% sheep blood or Columbia auger with 5% sheep blood is required each day of testing on the Vitec MS. The calibration strain is required for every acquisition group used for testing on every target slide. For weeks 2, 3, and 4, a new working culture plate is subbed from the stock culture plate and the same procedure outlined for week 1 is followed. The previous week's working plate should be properly discarded. As mentioned earlier, at the end of 4 weeks, a new reference stock culture is used to subculture a new working stock culture plate. Take note, be aware to factor in the number of passages that may have been done by the manufacturer when ordering your ATCC 8739 stock strain. Additional bacterial quality control if required by your lab procedures. Enterobacter aerogenes ATCC 13048. 
Negative Bacterial Control, Vitec MSCHCA matrix alone with no organism. Additional yeast quality control if required by your lab procedures. Candida Glabrata ATCC MYA 2950. Negative yeast control, Vitec MS FA plus Vitec MS CHCA with no organism. Test isolates, bacteria and yeast. Fresh 18 to 72 hour bacterial or yeast culture on a validated media. Validated media include Columbia blood auger with 5% sheep blood, Tryptocay soy auger with 5% sheep blood, Tryptocay soy auger, Chocolate polyvitex auger, Campylocell auger, McConkie auger, Sabarad dextrose auger, Modified Sabarad dextrose auger, Chrome ID CPS. Note. Vitec MS testing of bacterial and yeast isolates cannot be performed directly from clinical specimens or with mixed cultures. Step 2. Adding the calibrator to the calibrator spot. Once all the materials are assembled, put on a pair of powder-free gloves and place the Vitec MS DS target slide on a flat surface. Be sure to handle the slide only by the edges or by the barcode end. Avoid touching the spots on the slide. And do not write or mark on the slide. Use the Vitec Pick Me pin and nib to pick up part of a suitable colony of fresh E. coli ATCC 8739 calibrator. It is important to avoid picking up auger along with the colony as this may lead to calibration failure. Apply the calibrator strain to the center of the calibrator spot of the acquisition group that will have patient isolates applied. Making circular motions with a Vitec Pick Me pin and nib, spread the organism in a thin, even layer on the spot. Insufficient quantity of colony applied usually results in no spectra being acquired. If an excessive quantity of colony is applied, cells may not suspend well in the matrix suspension, little or no crystal formation occurs with the matrix. The acquisition process may be hampered. Be careful not to spread the organism outside of the spot limits. Good smear quality is essential. If the calibrator fails, no patients are tested in that acquisition group. Eject the used nib into an appropriate biohazard container by pushing the button on the top of the pin. Open the Vitec MSCHCA matrix vial. It is not necessary to warm the matrix to room temperature. Immediately after spreading inoculum, Add one microliter of clear matrix to the center of the spot. It is important that the sample is not allowed to dry before adding the matrix. If too dry, the sample does not stick to the spot surface and may peel off. The sample must be moist when the matrix is added to obtain the even distribution of sample and matrix required for crystallization in the maldi toff process. Yellow crystals present in the matrix do not affect the reagent performance, but only clear matrix solutions should be added to spots. Avoid the yellow crust on the rim of the vial and avoid aspirating the yellow pellet at the bottom of the vial. The matrix contains a high concentration of organic solvents. Close the vial after dispensing the reagent to avoid evaporation. Discard the used pipette tip. To avoid contaminating the matrix, Always use a new tip for every spot. Step 3. Add a bacterial isolate or additional bacterial QC organism to a sample spot. Use the Vitec Pick Me pin and nib to pick up part of a suitable colony or colonies from an 18 to 72 hour patient isolate grown on a validated media. Colonies on auger plates may vary considerably with respect to size, texture, or viscosity so some judgment is required to obtain the correct amount of sample. It is important to avoid picking up auger along with the colony as this may lead to poor identification results. Apply the isolate to the center of the first available sample spot. Making circular motions with the Vitec Pick Me pin and nib, spread the organism in a thin, even layer on the spot. Be careful not to spread the bacterial isolate outside of the spot limits. 
Good smear quality is essential. If the spot fails, the next spot is tested. Discard the used nib in an appropriate biohazard container. Open the Vitec MSCHCA matrix vial. It is not necessary to warm the matrix to room temperature. Immediately after spreading inoculum, add one microliter of clear matrix to the center of the spot. Do not allow the sample to dry before adding the matrix. No more than two spots should be prepared before matrix is added to ensure the sample is moist when the matrix is added. If isolates are to be tested singly, matrix should be added as each spot is prepared. If isolates are tested in duplicate, matrix can be added after both spots are prepared. Discard the used pipette tip. Always use a new tip every time the matrix vial is entered. Use the Vitec Pick Me pin and nib to pick up part of a suitable colony from a 24 to 72 hour patient isolate grown on a validated media. It is important to avoid picking up auger along with the colony as this may lead to poor identification results. Apply the isolate to the center of the first available sample spot, making circular motions with a Vitec Pick Me pin and nib to spread the organism in a thin, even layer on the spot. Be careful not to spread outside the spot limits. Good smear quality is essential. If the spot fails, the next spot is tested. Discard the used nib in an appropriate biohazard container. Open the Vitec MSFA formic acid vial. It is not necessary to warm up the formic acid to room temperature. Add 0.5 microliters of formic acid to the center of the spot. Discard the used pipette tip. Always use a new tip every time the formic acid vial is entered. Allow the formic acid to evaporate. Allow to dry completely. When dry, open the Vitec MSCHCA matrix vial. It is not necessary to warm the matrix to room temperature. Add one microliter of clear matrix to the center of the spot. Discard the used pipette tip. Always use a new tip every time the matrix vial is entered. Continue sample preparation for any additional bacterial or yeast isolates. Note, if the Vitec Flex Prep is configured for duplicate deposit, the second sample spot should be prepared adjacent to the first. The same loop can be used for the same isolated colony. If negative controls are required by your lab procedures, perform the following. For a bacterial negative control, add one microliter of Vitec MSCHCA matrix to an empty spot. For a yeast negative control, add 0.5 microliters of Vitec MSFA formic acid to an empty spot. Allow it to dry and then add one microliter of Vitec MSCHCA matrix. Allow all matrix or organism suspensions to dry completely. This usually requires about three to five minutes. Verify crystal formation on all spots. This is visible as a yellowish film. If not processed immediately, store the slide at room temperature protected from dust and aerosols and test within 72 hours.